Now here in Greenville, there's a team at East Carolina University researching the impacts of gambling. Uh, your side's Erin Jacobs caught up with the director of the program today. She joins us now in the studio. So Erin, what are they looking at? Well, they got money from the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services to research how gambling impacts different demographics of people. Dr. Michelle Malkin is the director of ECU's Gambling Research and Policy Initiative. They've done a study on 12 of North Carolina's system campuses, including ECU. You. Because sports are such a huge part of the college culture, they're looking at how gambling can impact these students. We can see that our students are already gambling and they're already wagering on sports. But up to now, a lot of that has been illegal and unregulated. And I always say that legal and regulated gambling is better. Students will be at risk faster than the general population uh, just because of their age, because they're less risk averse, and because they haven't necessarily had the life experience to know how to budget accordingly and make the best decisions around gambling in general. Malkin says North Carolina has some good resources already available, but it's still early, so there's not enough quite yet. She says there should be more happening at the college level with counselors available at student health centers. She says some ways you can watch yourself is to set aside money for entertainment to use on betting, have a profit and loss sheet so you can see both the wins and losses, and also become knowledgeable of the resources that are available. She says there's a gambling hotline and also several online resources if you do need that help. The team at ECU is continuing their research by looking at specific gambling data on people of different races or ethnic groups and also socioeconomic classes. In the studio, Erin Jenkins, 9 on your side. Erin, thanks.